And there has been a level of excitement around the building today, knowing that those stars will be coming back. But during the All-Star break, you never know who we may see in the building here today. Not the most productive first possession of this game. Kai Bowman, one of the most electric scorers in this league. Down low, Popovich. He's back after missing Tuesday's win against Pitt. A bit of that ankle breaker handle that can often put guys on skates. Oh, there it is. Likes the sapling amongst the Sequoias, and Miami's on the board. Both teams have combined two for ten. Chapman over Johnson. Jordan Chapman now 13 points away from 1,000 for his career. Stitches in that finger on the shooting hand, so built-in excuse, but the first one looked pretty good. Lawrence from the outside. That goes. Amp Lawrence. He's gotten off to great start shooting the three, etc. But with the load that's put on him to play the four position, as we see Kai Bowman knocking down his first field goal. Bowman against Johnson. Chapman shot fake. Leans into one. He's got four. Entry pass. Ibuka Izundu using the window. He's had to take on a much bigger role this year. Johnson over to Vasilovic, who had five threes last time out. One of the best shooters in the conference. Hey, he can do that, too. You don't see that's, that too often from DJ. Hook. Wow. <laughs> Pass over the top and turn the, throw the ball right away to Boston College. Both times, BC has fronted the post. Hamilton, Jared Hamilton, the three. Actually, Jarius. He's going to do, can't finish the bunny. Kicks it out to Wardenburg. Shot fake. Step back. Good. And you see just a little bit of that skill on display for Wardenburg, who's been playing very good basketball. 18 points uh, start the game. So he was feeling pretty good, but we knew they were going to make a run. You know, he has four seniors, so. To Boston College to take over the reins here in this program. Wow, we're going to go there today, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I might I was under-recruited, so. You know, Coach O'Brien and staff did a great job and going to hopefully trying to find a diamond in the rough. And if you hear him talk on TV, he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. But tell me the truth. What was he really doing on the sideline over there? <laughs> <laughs> that Coach B was good. <laughs> to finish down low, we're talking with Howard Isley, who is on that 1994 Boston College team that reached the Elite Eight. Well, that's a guy that could have fit in with his shooting, Jordan Chapman. Good luck to Boston College. We bring in Howard Isley, a BC legend. Eagles go on a 7-0 run. There we go. Got last time suiting up, so that was the extra motivation for us to really try to, to do things the right way. Chapman off the feed from Chris Heron. And here is Johnson, came to Miami as a grad transfer after a standout career with Florida Gulf Coast. So Laranega takes a visit to Providence. He goes with his good friend, Jim O'Brien. They both love Providence. On the way back home, they decide to commit to Providence. He's in the driveway, and Jim O'Brien's father says, we can't tell Mr. Cousy no. So O'Brien ends up going to BC. Of course, O'Brien was then a head coach at BC as well. He loves to be on the court with his guy. Wardenburg out of New Zealand. Knocks down the three after looking to pass it up initially. Jerry is Hamilton, no good. Another rebound for Popovich, eight pulls. Bowman back to Hamilton down low, and there is Ty Bowman, the facilitator. And Ty Bowman, who's normally playing downhill, Chris Likes has done a very good job staying in front of Bowman. Bowman only two points, averaging 20, but there's Popovich. Four helpers for Bowman. Izundu against Popovich to the left hand pretty and that's you know it's pretty routine for zoom he recognizes what Vasilovich and likes and Lawrence can do from the outside so he doesn't want to get those guys opportunities from beyond the arc Chapman for three speaking of beyond the arc Jordan Chapman Johnson to Izundu missing the bunny he's had a couple of chances inside today and Hamilton with thunder the other way Ives, Bowman with a bullet to Hamilton, not Jarius, but Jared, older brother, finishing on the break. 54% from the field, 8 of 15 from three. Anthony Lawrence, too easy. Wide receiver, defensive back, but uses that athleticism on the basketball court. What was your reaction to that? Man, that, that was that was in, in between the games, and we're in this uh, big ballroom. 
and everyone started laughing at us. Syracuse. And, um, you know, we just started four freshmen. You know, we, we had four freshmen that, that, that started, and we took a beating. Great run in the 94 NCAA tournament, getting to the Elite Eight in that win against Carolina. He had 10 of the last 11 points, and he found a way to beat the defending champions. Mack likes Johnson, Izundu, and Wardenburg on the floor for Miami. Izundu all alone on the inside. Probably a strong B-plus of right now. It's a high grade from you. Likes the lob to Izundu. Miami cuts it to five. Oh, there you go, man. So we're good. <laughs> Mitchell leans in. Seven-point lead for B.C. Trying to see if they can wear him down by the end of this game. Three to shoot. Popovich. Offensive rebound. Heron. And one. So, and, and with his, you know, the previous issues that he had had before he even got to us as a rookie in Denver, we knew about it. So everyone kind of chipped in to help him out. And one of my responsibilities was taking him home. Silovich re-entering the game now for the first time since leaving. Nice play by Amp Lawrence, getting to the rim. And when and Jordan Chapman handling the basketball, not his strong suit, especially when he's playing with an injured finger. So, Izundu, the eraser at the rim. Johnson the other way, lays it in. P.J. Duke hasn't shot like that all season long. So, you know, they've been able to go to something different to beat Virginia in both those games. You can see those two teams on a Saturday night in Charlotte at the ACC tournament sometime mid-March. Johnson answers the Popovich basket. Had Florida Gulf Coast come back and won that game against Lipscomb. Yeah. What, how many points was it? 60 it was or 70 it points was that lot. Lipscomb scored in the first half of that game? Yeah. For their last five games. Likes today, 2 of 13. Bowman, wild shot. Yes, sir. And one. Into the game. Chapman open for three. Short. Mitchell, the follow. Another chance for a three-point play for Boston College. Bowman doubled over to Popovich. A good passer for a big. Hamilton. Popovich the offensive rebound and put back. Usually makes good decisions. 24 in the shot clock. 13-point lead. Did he shoot that too quickly? He did shoot it too quickly, but that's a guy that averages 20 points per game and knows that he only has six. Johnson. High off the window. The tip by Wardenburg not there. Izundu cleans up. Popovich doubled in the backcourt. They get it to Bowman. Up ahead to Hamilton, who dunks it home. Honored, and Bill Curley get his number retired. And name raised to the Raptors. On its way to a second consecutive win. Miami was 0 for 12 from 3 in the second half prior to that. And Boston College will take a two-game winning streak to Raleigh on Wednesday.